I've spent real time trading with TradeSinker and TradeCopia. And the biggest difference between them isn't marketing or features, it's execution behavior under live conditions. With TradeSinker, everything runs through the cloud. Your leader account sends orders to their servers, and from there, they get routed to your follower accounts. When conditions are clean, low volatility, stable connection, the copier does its job. Entries hit, exits copy, and you can manage multiple prop firms without running several platforms or VPS instances. On paper, that's a big win. But technically, the cloud layer introduces variables you can't control. Latency between broker to server to follower, queuing during high volume, and occasional sync mismatches. I personally noticed this most during fast markets. Stops would sometimes trigger late on followers, or a position would flatten on the leader, but stay open for a moment on followers. Even a half second delay is enough to change PNL when you're copying five, 10, or 20 accounts. That's what started bothering me, not constant failure, but unpredictability. Tradecopia works very differently. It runs locally on your machine, meaning it listens directly to the leader account and pushes orders straight to the followers without a shared cloud relay. Technically, that cuts out an entire hop in the execution chain, and you feel it. Entries are tighter, exits line up cleaner, and fills across accounts are far more consistent. I saw near identical executions even across different prop firms, which is honestly rare. Another big technical difference is state awareness. Tradecopia tracks account state locally open positions, order status, risk rules, so if something changes, it reacts immediately. I had far fewer cases where a follower account missed a close or stayed exposed longer than it should. That alone lowered my stress level a lot. Risk management is also handled differently. Tradecopia's built-in risk controls apply before orders are sent, not after. That means max contracts, scaling rules, and account level limits are enforced locally, which reduces the chance of accidental over-execution. With TradeSinker, risk tools exist but they're still dependent on cloud sync timing. Now, to be fair, TradeSinker has advantages. You can log in anywhere, manage trades remotely, and you're not tied to one machine being on. For some traders, that flexibility outweighs the execution trade-offs. And their feature set journaling, analytics, mobile access is genuinely useful. But emotionally and technically, here's the real difference I felt. TradeSinker made me monitor my trades. Tradecopia let me trust my trades. I wasn't checking logs, watching followers, or wondering if a close copied correctly. The system just did what I expected it to do. And when you're trading size across multiple funded accounts, that trust is everything. So yeah, both platforms work. But from a technical, real money perspective, Tradecopia felt more deterministic, more predictable, and honestly, more professional in live execution.